This is what football players do to train. <laughs> Today I'm building a rabbit fence because Peter Rabbit got into my cabbages and eat them the first night I planted them. So I got the stakes, I measured them out four feet apart. And I'm gonna stake them in the ground and try to make them straight using string. So here's what I got so far. Um, the wire is just kind of staged. I haven't actually set it up really. I need to dig a trench like all along the bottom so I can kind of sink this wire into it and then hold it in place with these stakes so that the rabbits just can't sneak under or you know if they start to dig they'll be discouraged because they'll see it goes down so i'm gonna get started on that ditch So as I'm putting the wire fencing down into the trench, it's about four feet from post to post, and I got these black metal stakes. And so I'm going like putting two in between each four posts. So like one right here, and then one over here, and that'll secure it somewhat. And then for this part of the post, I'm gonna get zip ties and definitely secure it up and down especially at the bottom um, to make sure that these are good that they're not gonna get down in there and then I might come back on the bottom and line it with sand we'll see how much energy I have today here is some of the sand I started putting around the perimeter because I want to see where those little rabbits are trying to get in so maybe two more barrel fulls of sand and we'll get it done. That fencing is complete. I put sand all along the bottom because I want to see where these little rabbits are like digging in and I didn't see any footprints because um, this has been out since last night so I'm just going and finishing up zip tying this because I am just not that happy with how this wire lined up to these stakes like it's some is missing here um, so it, it just really much caught the bottom for the most part and missed these top hooks so I'm just securing from the top all the way down with um, these little zip ties and as I was doing this I noticed this bed is in such rough shape as far as like it's just not pretty bright white because those over there are only a year old less than a year old and they're plastic ordered those on Amazon but this was here when we moved into the house so who knows how old it is it's wood someone obviously built it but I'm gonna give it a fresh coat of white paint brighten it up a little bit and that should be the last thing I'm gonna do all done it looks so much better it's all fresh and white just like the newer beds so now there is one more thing left 
one more thing I promise is to get these beds under control those two um, I'll definitely get some more cabbage replant those but when the kids get here I'm gonna make them do this and they are going to cry and whine the whole time but uh, I'm not doing it so I'm gonna make the kids get all the weeds out and then we'll finally be a hundred percent ready to garden No. Why? How's it going? See you working, King. Well, I'm talk and work. You're doing a good job, Marcus. Thank you. Look at all this. It's gross. No, it isn't. It's just leaves. I'm not talking about the leaves. I'm talking about the plant. Well, the leaves are pretty gross. Look at all these leaves. Yeah. You guys are small, so it's easier for you. 